England successfully launches the now famous pick-a-back plane, the Mercury. On its first flight, it crossed from Foynes Ireland to Manhasset Bay with a stop at Montreal, all in 25 hours. France's air achievement, a six-motored, 70-passenger sky mistress, arrives at Port Washington, Long Island, completing the first commercial transatlantic hop overseas. America's biggest transatlantic airplane is launched, Another major contribution to aviation's forward march. Smashing all records, Howard Hughes outdoes Jules Verne's wildest dreams. Around the world from New York to New York in four days. New aviation history is written when this Lockheed monoplane returns swiftly and safely with its crew of four. A real sportsman, a daring aviator, a true pioneer of the world's airways. On the heels of the Hughes flight, Douglas G., gone again Corrigan, and his nine-year-old crate make unexpected sky history. Corrigan flew the Atlantic by mistake and flew right into the hearts of the world. From New York to Ireland in 28 hours, then back to America, back to a waiting, cheering multitude. Here he is, wrong way Corrigan, who made the east the west, the west the east, and history upside down.